Welcome back children. We are going to learn about the formal sector and informal sector of employment and about the concept of unemployment in this video. Now you have learned about the formal and informal sector which is also known as organized and unorganized sector of employment in class 10. Now we will see the difference between these two sectors in this topic in this video and along with that we will be learning about the concept of unemployment and the types of unemployment prevailing in India. What is meant by a formal sector? All public enterprises and private establishments which employ 10 or more than hired workers, more than that hired workers are called the formal sector establishments. So, any private or public enterprises which has a number of employees with 10 or more than that is known as a formal sector establishment. This is known as a formal sector establishment or organized sector of employment. All public enterprises whether it is government or which is undertaken by a private ownership which employ 10 or more than hired workers are called formal sector establishments. Now let us see the important points with regard to formal sector establishments. Features are the workers in these sectors are called formal sector workers because they are working in a formal sector therefore they are known as formal sector workers. The point number two is they enjoy social security benefits. Which are the social security benefits? They are pension, then provident fund, etc. Next, they have trade unions to protect the workers through labor laws. You know there are there are you have learned about the labor laws from smaller classes onwards, isn't it? So it is to protect the uh, labors. So the formal organizations have the trade unions. All the problems related to the workers will be addressed by the trade unions to the management. So the formal sector establishments will have the trade unions which is formed by the group of people who are working in that particular establishment. They will be addressing the problems of the rest of the workers in that particular establishment. So that is known as the formal sector that is a feature of a formal sector establishment. They have trade unions. Now 7% of the total workforce is engaged here in this formal sector. So the formal sector workers are those they are called the formals the workers who are in the formal sector are called formal sector workers. They enjoy the social security benefits like pension, provident fund, medical insurance etc. Then they have the trade unions to protect the workers through the labor laws. The trade unions will be working with the labor laws to protect the labors, to protect the interest of the labors. Then 7 percentage of the total workforce are engaged in this particular sector. Now we will move on to informal sector which is also known as unorganized sector. Now what is this informal sector? It includes all those private enterprises which hire less than 10 workers. So it includes all those organizations which hire less than 10 workers. Now its features are the workers who work in these enterprises are called informal sector workers. So the workers which are working in these sectors are called they are called informal sector workers. Now example farmers, agricultural laborers, owners of small enterprises etc belong to this particular category. Example farmers, agricultural laborers, owners of small enterprises they belong to this particular category. Now it also includes the casual wage laborers such as construction workers. We can find lot of casual workers in the construction sites. They also belong to informal sector workers. 
almost 90% of the employment is found in this unorganized sector they are found in small farms shops and other self employment units so normally these uh, labors informal sector labors are found in small shops then self employment units and in small farms who work for the other landlords in this sector male workers accounts for 69 percentage and the rest of the numbers represents for female workers now another feature of unorganized sector workers they do not have a regular income if they do not work for one particular day they will not be having a income so they that means they do not belong to regular salaried workers if so if they are not working for one day in a week they will not be getting the income there is no protection for them from the government now risk of being dismissed without any compensation is very high they can be dismissed any time without any compensation they live in slums then they use us outdated technology and do not maintain any proper accounts of the work they have done so they are not skilled they will not be able to use a good technology they will be always making use of outdated technology because they are not formally established so these are the features of unorganized sectors all these points you have learned in class 10 you can once again recollect the difference between formal sector and informal sector establishments now for the proper understanding of informal and formal sector refer table 7.6 given in page number 7.15 in your textbook the heading distribution of workforce in formal and informal sector as per 2011 12 data now we will move on to the concept of unemployment which is a major problem that is faced in our country unemployment refers to a situation in which people are willing and they are able to work but at a existing wage rate but they do not get work this is known as unemployment people are willing to work but they do not get the work so unemployment refers to a situation in which people are willing to work and they are able to do the work but they cannot find the work that is known as unemployment it is a major problem existing in india now regarding the unemployment data the data is collected by census of india you have learned in class 11 nsso national Sur statistical survey organization then comes dget that is directorate general of employment and training so these are the three sources which give a data or number of people who are unemployed in our country so a complete information regarding the concept of unemployment is given the data is collected by the three sources known as census nsso and dget now let us move on to the types of unemployment in india which are the types of unemployment the most prevailing type of unemployment in india the first term is very familiar to you disguised unemployment what is this disguised unemployment you have been learning in class you have learned in class 9 and 10 in detail regarding disguised unemployment it refers to a state in which more than people are engaged in the work than what are really needed we can find this kind of unemployment in agricultural farm only 10 people are actually needed for doing the work but more than that will be involved in the agricultural farm for example actually 10 are only needed but 15 numbers of people will be there in the agricultural farm which means five are excess that kind of un unemployment is known as disguised unemployment we cannot see that unemployment it is not visible because rest of the five are also engaged in the work but their service is not actually required there so only service of 10 workers are required there but more than that people are engaged when we ask they are engaged but their service is not taken into consideration it is there they are excess in number next is seasonal unemployment they occur in certain seasons 
it varies from state to state depending on methods of farming condition of soil types and number of crops grown so seasonal unemployment it belongs to different seasons in some seasons people cannot find a job it is clearly associated with agricultural sector in agricultural farm you there will not be job opportunities every time so the people in the village areas may migrate to the urban areas and it is not sure that the people who are migrating from the rural areas will be getting job in the urban areas so seasonal unemployment depends on the method of farming types of the crops grown then condition of the soil etc if the condition of the soil is not favorable the agriculture as a process cannot be done therefore the workers remain to be seasonally unemployed so this is known as seasonal unemployment now comes open unemployment what is open unemployment it refers to a situation where people are able and willing to do the work but fail to get the work just as we explained about unemployment people are willing they are able to do the work but they are not getting a work they fail to get the work it is called open unemployment because we can see those people who are unemployed they are clearly visible it is clearly visible that they are unemployed so when i ask the difference between disguised unemployment and open unemployment you can answer it isn't it disguised unemployment is not visible actually 10 are only needed but 15 are involved in the agricultural farm they do work in the farm but their service is not actually required the five numbers are excess in the farm their service is not required but they are working therefore unemployment is not visible there but in an open unemployment the concept of unemployment is visible because they remain to be unemployed they are willing and able to do the work but they remain but they fail to get the work so these are the different types of unemployment disguised unemployment seasonal unemployment open unemployment there are more types of unemployment other than this which you can refer to the power booster in your textbook so i hope the two topics formal sector informal sector and the concept of unemployment is clear to you thank you